One, two, three, four, five. Your terror, oh, we just terrified. Sails in your worry, and what you won't ever find. Hey, what's up, Jubo people? Welcome to this tutorial. This is going to be Rosalyn or Rosalyn, however you like to call it. And it is going to have a PDF attached to this lesson, which you can download using the links in the description, okay? This one over here. So it's in standard tuning, the way I'm playing it. You can do it like the original way, which there is a tutorial for. And if you guys want a really high quality tutorial for the alternate tuning, let me know. But this is going to be standard tuning. Just throw a cap on the sixth fret. And it sounds pretty close to the original. There are some things that don't sound exactly the same um, because there are things that you can only do with an alternate tuning. But pretty much it sounds pretty good to me, I think. So if you like the way the demo sounded, then, then this is a tutorial for you. So so in the, the PDF, you'll see the chord and lyric sheet where everything is fixed from the ultimate guitar version. And it's got the, so you can print this out and then follow along with me, okay? Um, also, I give private lessons, so if you want a private lesson from me, just check the link in the description. It is, that's my son. Hey, little boy. <laughs> but the door's closed, so don't worry. Okay, uh, then we have, yeah, so private lessons. 40 minutes uh, once a week. Um, it costs about $200, if about $50, $50 per lesson. And it's just an online Zoom call. It's amazing, it's pretty cool. I've got a, students from all over the world and yeah, if you want to sign up for that, check the link in the description. Okay, so let's let's look at the chords first. So we got Capra on the sixth fret, and let's just zoom in here to this window. So the first chord we have is a C major seven, which I'm writing as a C because it, it works as a C in this context. Okay, so it it looks like an A minor shape, but we we're playing it here starting on the fourth string, and then these two fingers at the top of the third fret. That's kind of the shape that's happening there. Okay, so this is our C chord. C. And then we move it up two frets to D. Okay, so this is C. So once you have that down, then you go to the next part, which is the G and the A minor, which is going to be G and then A minor. So this G, we're just doing like a G6. So we're not even fretting the bottom string here or these, these two. We're just doing a G. And then when you do that little riff, and then at the end it's going to be E minor, which E minor we're just using this voicing over there. Okay. All right. So for the G A minor, it's going to be, and then again, and then you do this little riff. You take the ring finger off, and you slide up two frets with these two fingers, and then you go back. So. Ba, ba, ba. 
then just everything up and so then the verse riff starts again on the C major seven. Okay, so. For this, uh, th then there's also this D chord which we use in the chorus. Folding around. It's like an E minor, but these two fingers are split up. It just sounds really beautiful, and I think it's the right thing. Uh, so the the main strumming pattern we're gonna use is this one. We will first practice this one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Focus on getting that the, the first beat a lot louder than the other ones. Like one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. And three. Once you have that smooth, then you can go to this one, which is going to take out the second down. It's going to go like down, up, down, up, down. can use your intuition to kind of switch between those two strumming patterns to kind of get the nice feel. So don't always lock into one strumming pattern throughout the whole thing. Uh, kind of experiment with your own take on it. It's just important that you keep counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Because the whole thing is like a waltz. Okay, like this. One, two, two, do, do, do. Two, do, 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 do. Comment if you know what song that was okay um so for the verses we've got this chord progression and i've put the dots in there so you can just count the beats so each time there's a dot it's a one two three strong pattern so it's like one two three one two three one two three four and then one two one two three four in the minor On that beat is when you do the little riff, okay? All right, then for the chorus, we got D, you start on the D, same as the C2 for tire, we got. The reason I put the C in brackets is, I don't think in the original they're doing a C, I think they're staying on the D, but it sounds weird to me when you're playing just with acoustic without the other kind of paddy instrument that they have going on, so. The dome. C sounds nicer to me. Don't let it fool you. And then here's definitely a C. Same kind of thing as in the verse. And in the end of the chorus. And we're going to do the D. And then we go to the D over F sharp, which is going to be. Same as the E minor, just split the fingers up. Okay? And then the D. I like to do that little riff there, so if I'm in the D, then I go, so two, zero on the third string, and then four on the fourth string, and then two on the fourth string. there is that kind of motive happening inside the original recording, which is really nice. Okay, so that's it. Uh, there's nothing more to say about this tutorial. It uses indie guitar chords. If you want to learn another song of mine, uh, not of mine, but a tutorial that I did, is the Mr. Forgettable. Also uses these types of indie chords from David Kushner. That's a really fun song to play. It's like... It's also around Cap over here somewhere. Anyway, have a nice day, guys. Cheers.